Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Life Science with KMD. Today I'm going to explain about photobioreactors. Closed loop system. Example for this is a photobioreactor, an alternative to open ponds for large scale production of microalgal biomass are photobioreactors. The term photobioreactor is used to indicate an closed system that do not allow for direct exchange of gases or contaminants between the algal culture in which the, the algae is grown like if it is grown in a photobioreactor and the environment there are different types of photobioreactors these device provide a protective environment for the cultivated species and the culture parameters such as ph oxygen carbon dioxide concentration and temperature it is um, as it is closed system we have to supply all nutrients including carbon dioxide different types of medium are used for different types of algae for example bg11 medium is used for the growth of chlorophyceae members bold basil medium is used for the cultivation of freshwater algae asn3 medium and uh, chu2 medium are used for the cultivation of marine cyanobacteria it prevent evaporation and reduce water use and uh, lower carbon dioxide losses due to out grassing and uh, permit higher cell concentration thus reducing the operation co costs and attain higher productivity example is dunaliella bardavil and rhodella reticulata there are different types of photobioreactor one is vertical tubular photobioreactor which is further divided into bubble column photobioreactor and airlift photobioreactor another one is flat panel photobioreactor third is horizontal tubular photobioreactor fourth is helical type photobioreactor stir tank photobioreactor and the last one is hybrid type photobioreactor vertical tubular photobioreactor under that the first one is the bubble column photobioreactor there are two types one is the bubble column uh, photobioreactor here the cylindrical vessel with a height greater than the uh, twice the diameter and the uh, low capital cost is seen and even the high surface area to volume ratio has been observed used in aeration and treatment of wastewater uh, treatment in bubble column the hydrodynamics and mass transfer depend on the size of the bubbles and how they are released from the sparger the relative homogeneous cultural environment has been observed efficient release of the oxygen and residual gas mixture is seen the sparger present but no agitation has been introduced efficiency greatly depend on the gas flow rate now the second type of vertical column photobioreactor is the airlift bioreactor here the mixing is accomplished without any mechanical agitation used for algal culture and tissue culture because the tissue are sensitive to shear stress thus normal mixing is not possible is air is fed to the bottom of the central drought tube through the sparger ring the flow passes up through the draft tube to the head space of the bioreactor where excess air and uh, byproduct and the carbon dioxide disengage in general the airlift bioreactor consists of the following feature the internal loop the external loop and a draft tubes plate photobioreactor here the construction is based on the plastic or glass plates plates with different technical design are mounted to form a small layer of culture suspension 
which provide an optimized light supply in addition the simpler construction compared to tubular reactor allow the use of less expensive plastic material some unsolved issue are the material life time stability or uh, biofilm forming biofilms are like uh, if you take an example of uh, ship on which all uh, other microorganisms start growing on that that type of uh, biofilm formation in the uh, plates of or the pla plastic plates will be seen and uh, you know even the cleaning of that biofilm is bit difficult that is the um, unsolved issue in this photobioreactor flat panel photobioreactor it is designed to facilitate green algae hydrogen production at the laboratory scale coherent non heating illumination is provided by the panel of cool white light emitted diode the reactor body consists of two compartment construction from transparent polymethyl methacrylate sheet the primary compartment hold the algal culture which is agitated by the means of recirculating gas lift the secondary compartment is used to control the temperature of the system and the wavelength of the radiation the reactor is fit to the fit with probe sensor that monitor the ph dissolved oxygen temperature and optical thickness of the algal culture the membrane inlet mass spectro spectrometry system has been developed and incorporated into the reactor for dissolved hydrogen measurement and collection next is horizontal tubular photobioreactor it consists of horizontal uh, tubes which is having the algal culture or which can be used for the wastewater treatment it is advantage in um, i mean it has advantage in outdoor culture for their orientation towards the sunlight resulting in high light conversion efficiency helical type photobioreactor it consists of a coiled transparent flexible tube of small diameter with separate or attached degassing unit now this um, coiled transparent uh, flexible tube with a small diameter uh, are also called as solar receiver and the exhaust gas or the uh, degassing unit is called as air lift system here the culture will be grown algal microalgal culture can be grown in this um, helical tube next is stirred tank photobioreactor in this photobioreactor baffles are used in order to reduce the vortexing and the disadvantage of stirred tank photobioreactor is that low surface area to volume ratio which in turn decrease the light harvest efficiency of the algal biomass the uh, next is hybrid type photobioreactor the advantage of two different types of reactor and one overcomes the disadvantage of the other is called as hybrid type photobioreactor christmas tree photobioreactor is built in a tapered geometry and which carries a helical attached translucent double hose circuit system the result is a layout similar to christmas tree the tubular system is constructed in modules and can theoretically be scaled outdoor up to agriculture i mean up to agricultural scale the dedicated location is not crucial similar to other closed system therefore non arable land is suitable as well the material choice should prevent biofouling and ensure high efficiency i mean ensure high final biomass concentration the combination of turbulence and closed concept should allow the clean operation and high operational availability thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you